my name is Yana and I wanted to tell you a little bit about my story uh, focusing on self-worth and confidence because I feel like a lot of women are struggling with this right now uh, because of social pressure and because of people around them that are just mean and abusive towards them for absolutely no good reason. Uh, I came from Belgium when I was a child and um, I moved into a small village near uh, near Hunedoara. So it was not the most open-minded mindset. So um, as a teenager, I felt like I was not enough because I could not fit in the norms and the standards that were being set. I didn't understand enough of the culture. I didn't um, have the skills that my peers had. I didn't speak the language properly. And um, I wasn't pretty enough, that was a big thing for me, is that I wasn't pretty enough and as a result from that, I was not worthy to be loved. It developed into um, depression and anxiety attacks, panic attacks, uh, and a lot of fear. Basically my mind was so poisoned that I would just be living inside of a ball of fear that I couldn't or didn't want to get out of because it was all that I knew, it, because I thought I was a burden to everybody and what was the point of me being here. It got so bad that at one point I had to just make a decision if I wanted to live or die. I didn't want to die because I didn't want to make my mom sad, I felt like that would be incredibly rude. So I decided to live and with that to live properly. So I started off really small with um, small exercises practical exercises to raise my self-confidence and um, my sense of worth for myself and um, gradually I increased the, the intensity of those um, exercises and I was very lucky because I had my family and friends around me who would always give me confirmation that yes I was enough and it was, it really hit off when I got to college because I was blessed to have a wonderful group of classmates that genuinely enjoyed spending time with me, which was really strange for me at the time because I didn't enjoy spending time with myself, so why would anybody else enjoy spending time with me? So with their help and with the help of everybody else that loved me, I managed to see the distinction between the words from somebody that values me and the words of somebody that wants to poison me for it was just mean and not okay somebody that just spreads all this negativity over me for no good reason and um, it took me a lot of years it takes a long time to change your mindset but you can do it it's possible if I could do it, then I know that other people can also do it because we are strong. We are so strong and we can go through so many things, it's ridiculous, we don't even know. And at a certain point, it's not even anymore a problem of, oh, I'm not enough. No, it's, it's there's so many things that you can do that being not enough starts sounding ridiculous. So this is what I just wanted to say to you all, that you are enough and you are worthy and you will never be not enough, you will always be enough. Thank you so much.